Okay, um, we we stay in the uh, in. You know, we don't stay in the cross media, but we stay in web documentaries. And uh, luckily, this time we're going to Russia. Olga Kravitz, you want to come up here? I first met the um, yeah. I first met the project at uh, an event called Docs Barcelona. As we've talked about, there's a lot of events around Europe for good old traditional documentary films. Uh, it's a very well-organized uh, financing landscape. People meet with their projects that are in development, that need financing, and uh, they present it before a panel of commissioning editors from TV stations, sales agents, funds, etc. It's very well organized. It's not the same as we talked about within cross media. I met this project in Docs Barcelona and very often the, the projects that have uh, a, a non-film component starts with a film and then other formats grow out of that. Here it was actually the other way around. This is basically a web documentary. Across media, okay. There it was presented as a web documentary. Anyway, uh, you will tell more about it. It's, this is the starting point is across media and not a film, right? So that was the other way around. So please, Olga. Thank you, and thanks uh, for inviting us here. Uh, my colleague Maria Morin is in the audience too, so we both can answer the questions afterwards. So this is a cross-media project, and to tell you the truth, four years ago I didn't see myself as a filmmaker or multimedia producer. I was a photographer, and three photographers together, myself, Maria, who is in the audience, and Aksana Yushko, uh, we decided that we want to start to make a massive photo project together, working as a film crew, in a way like film crews work, because the story was so complicated to explain that it would be just easier if we split uh, the task into three parts. So I'm now taking you to Chechnya. We all know that it's still the most painful sport on the map of Russia. That's where we had two wars, which are still influencing the whole region, uh, the whole country, and the international scene with the upcoming Olympics. And in Chechnya, you can disappear without a trace, and you will be never found. And in Chechnya, you also have the biggest mosque in Europe and the skyscrapers. And people are trying, I mean, the leadership is trying to pretend that life has gotten back to normal. So that's why for us it was so important to actually go there and show what is actually happening be beyond the shiny new buildings of Grozny. So here is just the synopsis that you can read while I'm talking. But uh, we were inspired inspired by the book that uh, Maria has read in 2009, which is called uh, Tell Phyllis North by Thornton Wilder, where the author comes up with a, a concept that you can dissect every city on earth into the nine layers of existence and thus make it easier to be understood. So we took the concept and we adjusted it slightly, having in mind that we are dealing with a city which is going for the aftermath. And at the time of our first visit to Grozny, the second war was just officially over. Ramzan Kader, the local dictator, officially announced that now we don't have a war people come and see how great the life is. So we have come up with the nine layers of existence of Grozny. It's the city which ceases to exist, the city of Grozny uh, that is lost. That Grozny was the most destroyed city on earth in 2003, uh, as UN uh, called it. So you can, you can see now that it's totally rebuilt. Then, of course, the city of war, and then we talk about religion, uh, the 
and growing Islamization. Uh, we talk about men and women uh, because the society is segregated. The city of servants, it's the inner circle of, the, of Ramzan Kadir, the dictator. The city of strangers, the Russian soldiers who are still stationed there, and the migrant workers, and the tiny Russian minority left in the monoethnic republic. The city of oil, because oil was apparently one of the reasons for fierce political games that turned into the war. And then finally, the city of passion for normalcy, the city of ordinary people who just want to lead their lives. So now I'm going to show you uh, a small video to give the visual understanding of what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. 